Hello YouTube, Empathy Relics here, and today I'm giving you guys a commentary talking about why the Infinite Warfare trailer has so many dislikes and why the Battlefield 1 trailer, on the flip side of things, has done so well. So, in my opinion, it comes down to, to one main thing. Obviously, a, a number of things contributed to those like and dislike ratios for both trailers, but in my opinion, the main reason why Infinite Warfare is so hated and Battlefield 1 is so liked is down to like one main reason and it's not because Battlefield's better than Call of Duty it's not because Infinity Ward is making Call of Duty and Infinity Ward aren't that popular it's not because of Call of Duty just being on the downfall as a, as a franchise in general although all of those things may be true that's not the main reason. It's not because people jumped on the bandwagon and, and some they saw Infinite Warfare have 500,000 dislikes and everyone's just disliking the shit out of it. So then people who have never even heard of COD or never played Call of Duty before are just disliking it. It's not because of that. It's because of one simple reason. And that reason is EA and DICE and the makers of Battlefield listen to their community. Infinity Ward, Activision, they're not fucking listening to the fucking COD community. And it's as simple as that. So right, we look at Infinite Warfare. So when Advanced Warfare came out, they tried something different. People were saying, oh, Call of Duty is the same thing every year. So they did the bold thing, and they tried something different, and it didn't work. No one liked Advanced Warfare. Like, when I say no one, obviously some people still do. Some people might even think it's the best Call of Duty ever. Those people would be seven or eight years old. But Advanced Warfare was not a good game. Every Call... Well, I can't say every, but, like, most Call of Duty fans who have played... More than two games of the, the series would agree that Advanced Warfare was a bad Call of Duty game. In my opinion, it's the worst. I think it's the worst, hands down, that I've played. And I think Ghost is way, way better than Advanced Warfare. And that's saying something, because at the time, Ghost was just awful. And you, you, when the next COD was announced, no one thought it could be worse than Ghost. But it was. And then people said, alright, we're tired of the futuristic bullshit. Let's go back to a World War One or a World War Two or a Vietnam, Korean War, Cold War era and give us a shooter set in the past or at least modern times. But then Black Ops 3 came out, it was set even further into the future uh, than Black Ops 2. I don't know whether it was further into the future of Advanced Warfare, I'm not entirely sure. But it was set in the future again. And people, again, despite Black, Black Ops 3 being kind of popular and, and people not, you know, liking that game overall, I like Black Ops 3, but people have said, we don't want any more futuristic shit. We've had Black Ops 2, futuristic COD. We've had Ghost, which was a futuristic COD, but it was a bit apocalyptic, but it was still a, a futuristic COD. Advanced Warfare. Highly futuristic COD. Black Ops 3. Highly futuristic COD. That's four futuristic fucking CODs in a row between three developers. People had enough. And they, they wanted a hit historical or a modern game for Infinity Ward's next title. Now since they made the Modern Warfare series, it would be logical for them to either remaster the Modern Warfare trilogy or make a new Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 4. Or go back and maybe make a World War One Call of Duty or a World War Two Call of Duty. Who the fuck knows? I don't. I don't understand how they did not get that. People, the community has been crying out for a non-futuristic COD, and what do they do? They go further into the fucking future. They take it another step forward by setting it in fucking space. Killzone already done that. You know, it's not gonna fucking work. I haven't played Infinite Warfare. I've seen no multiplayer gameplay, but I can guarantee it's not gonna be a Call of Duty game that is liked by the community. For the simple reason that people 
don't want another futuristic shooter. They've had enough of them. We've had Titanfall. And all these other fucking futuristic shooters. The people have just been overwhelmed. That They've come become outdated. Like World War II shooters were in the past. And... You know, they didn't listen. It's as simple as that. Infinity Ward... Activision, they didn't listen to their community, and that is why Infinite Warfare has nearly 3 million dislikes. It's it's that simple. And then, to fucking shit on the community even more, to just fucking rub it in, they have the nerve to fucking remaster COD 4, because they realize, after getting all this backlash and shit, before they announced Infinite Warfare, but for getting all this backlash for having futuristic CODs, and they were making one. They had the fucking nerve to, to rush together and get some other company, some other studio, to quickly remaster COD 4 and, and rush it out the fucking door. But you have to purchase Infinite Warfare to get it. And they only give you 10 of the maps, with none of the DLC included. What the fuck is going on at Infinity Ward? What are they thinking? This is... Honestly, this decision right now is the turning point of the Call of Duty franchise. I would not be surprised that in three years' time, no one plays Call of Duty games anymore. It won't die instantly, but it's it's gone downhill since Ghost. Downhill dramatically since Ghost. And it's going to continue falling downhill. Now, on the other hand, let's look at Battlefield. So, Battlefield 1 was announced and it got a shit ton of likes like you look at its like to dislike ratio compared to infinite warfares and the simple reason for that isn't because battlefield's better than cod although it might be that's not the reason the reason is because they fucking listen to their player base they listen to their community people were saying all right we're kind of sick of having games rushed out at launch so we we want a game that's stable at launch right and we we don't know if that's going to be the case yet but I, I assume it will be. And people said, we're kind of over the modern setting. You went to like a cops and robbers feel with Hardline. And yeah, that was that was a cool idea. But let's go back. We want a World War One shooter. We want a World War Two shooter. Or we want a Vietnam War shooter. They listened. And they made a World War One shooter. And it looks fucking epic. Everyone's excited about it. Because they're just fucking so over the modern setting. Or the futuristic setting. Fuck Battlefield Dingo into the future. They went back in the past where everyone was, wants those types of games. I want a fucking historical shooter. And so does a majority of first person shooter fans. Battlefield listened. And look at how many dislikes to likes they have in comparison to the Infinite Warfare trailer. Now I don't know if Battlefield 1 is going to be a, a good COD, uh, a good Battlefield game. You know, it's impossible to tell off just a trailer and, and a bit of gameplay, but guarantee it's going to sell a lot better because they did a masterful idea and, uh, and released it just a month or so before Infinite Warfare comes out. Infinite Warfare won't sell. It's as simple as that. Fucking Battlefield has just fucked COD in the ass big time with their release date and Infinite Warfare won't sell. The only people who will buy that game, I'd say like... 75% of the people who, who p purchase Infinite Warfare, or pre-order it, I should say, are only doing it for COD 4 Remastered. And they shouldn't. They should be boycotting it, because it's just going to be a half assed fucking remaster, no instead of giving chance. us the whole trilogy that, which we wanted. But, anyway, so, Battlefield 1, they listened to their community, they went back, historical shooter, and that's why they have so many dislikes, that's why their trailer is universal, universally loved. And that's why Battlefield 1 is going to break all kinds of sales records. Well, I think it will be. Because it's going to attract a lot of the Call of Duty fan base. Because no one's looking forward to Infinite Warfare. Like, barely anyone saw the Infinite Warfare trailer and got pumped about it. Because <laughs> it's, it's set in fucking space, we don't want that. We say, we say as a community, we don't want futuristic shooters, yet they go further into the fucking future, like that's gonna change anything. So anyway guys, I'm out. I hope you guys, if you are choosing 
between Battlefield 1 and Infinite Warfare for a shooter to play uh, this Christmas. Go with Battlefield 1. I'm not the, the biggest Battlefield fan out there, like I've played their games. I'm not the biggest Battlefield fan out there, but I, I'm not tolerating this shit from, from Infinity Ward, from Activision, from the makers of COD because honestly they don't give a fuck about the community. All they care about is profits and the only way we can retaliate is by not buying their game. That's a big middle finger to fucking the, the cons over there at Activision. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. And yeah, so hopefully you guys um, don't get Infinite Warfare and boycott it. I might make another commentary and another video talking about that at a later date. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.